Welcome back to the channel. Wait, where am I going with the monitor? Okay, you already know by the title. A new space, a new beginning. Before the summer, I worked from a co-working space. Then during the summer, I was back at the home office, but now I feel the need for some separation between home and work again. So I'm moving into a new office, but this time it is much more different. Keep watching to find out why. Jim Ron once whispered a timeless secret into the ears of the ambitious. You are the average of five people you spend the most time with. Today, we break free from the solitude of our separate journeys, stepping into a shared space where dreams take flight on the wings of collective ambition. In other words, along with three of my friends, I'm stepping into a new chapter a new chapter where our office is not just a place for work, but a space to connect, create and cultivate ideas that have the power to change our world in our unique ways. Okay, let's pause the inspirational talk for a second, because it's time to grab some lunch. It's always nice to combine lunch with a walk to the cafe or a nearby restaurant, but this time we ordered in. Some friends came over as well, and it was nice to catch up. Moving into the office was generally smooth, but can't say it was without hiccups. For example, we could not access the internet at first, but luckily we all have unlimited data on our phones nowadays, so hotspots came to rescue. But sadly not everything was hot, like for example the weather. It is getting cold outside, and this building is a separate one and has a beautiful brick walls, but all these aspects make it pretty chilly inside, and heating isn't turned on yet, and it won't be turned on for a week, so we have to deal with that and a few other things, but let's catch up on some work. Speaking about work, at AHEAD, we are growing very quickly at the moment, so working on scalability and stability is very important. And like always, there's a challenge every step of the way. For example, now we are facing some issues with the third-party SDK. Many of the issues here are caused by the App Tracking Transparency Framework, which was introduced with iOS 14 by Apple. Because of that, you have to implement the SK Ad Network, and for that, we rely on an MMP called Apps Flyer. And when you rely on a third party, sometimes when you're facing issues, it is hard to debug them and solve them. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. On top of that, I still have to deliver some improvements to one of our existing features. So that's what I'm doing today. By the way, I'm looking at this footage right now when I edit this video and I noticed that when I'm working I have such a grumpy face. It seems like I get so tense and serious. Yeah, I think I might need to film some clips where I'm laughing or smiling. Otherwise you probably think I'm a grumpy developer, but I assure you I am not. This is just my super intense focus work resting face, I guess. <laughs>
have so much work, you can easily get overwhelmed and that can cause multiple things to happen. But to help me tackle these things one at a time, lately I've been doing more and more Pomodoro timers. I don't use a specific app for it, just a good old reminder on my iPhone. And now with the standby mode in iOS 17, it's actually pretty neat. Just like that, the day is coming to an end and it's time to head back home to my fiance Marta and my puppy Evie. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I wish you the best and see you next time. Here's a sneak peek of the next day, let me know if you'd like to see that one. Cheers!